prior to leaving school, we have worked on creating drawing templates. I am going to just post a quick review how I would set one up, as a lot of you are probably going to need to do this at home now. So you don't want to keep making your drawing file over and over again. So I'm choosing my blank drawing template and selecting OK. I'm just going to go with the standard A landscape. First thing I want to do, go to my options and make sure that I am on ANSI and that my units are in IPS. If it's IPS, MMGS for MMGS. All right, so now I'm on my sheet. What I like to do is go to File Properties, Custom, and I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to search for company name being one, or you could type it in, just make sure that there's no space, capital C, capital M, and I'm going to write Matzik. So I added my company name, I'm going to do drawn by. And because of the amount of space, either just your last name, first initial, you know, M. Circoni works for me, and hit OK. So that will show up in those two locations. I am going to meet, need to make some edits though, so I will right click and choose Edit Sheet Format. Within here, this font is fine. Uh, the drawing description I'm going to change. So if I left click on that, and within the note, I choose link to property, my link to property. I like to switch this to what is the sheet name. By doing this, I could just type in my sheet name later. I could leave drawing one alone. That's whatever the, the file as a whole is saved as. For my name, I need to make it smaller. So double click on it. Type in the size for the date. If I hover over this, I have drawn date show up. Click on that. Link to property. Property name. I'm going to go with short date. And okay. This font will fit now, but on October 22nd, 2020, it won't fit. So I would change the font size here. I also recommend making your fonts consistent. It just looks much better. But now the date will always adapt. Your name will always be there, Massing High School. Whatever the sheet name is will show up, as it will say sheet one for now. And now you have your drawing template file created. This is where it's important to properly save it. File, save as. And you're going to switch to a drawing template. Just keep in mind when this happens, it doesn't link to your template folder that maybe you created. If it's your own personal computer, it doesn't make much of a difference if you have it there. But if it's on your own, you want to go find the folder, save it in place as a drawing template file. Hopefully this was helpful. Good luck.